I've seen all kinds of things and it is just amazing how much innovation our customers are doing, right? And, and sometimes, you know, look, I feel very proud. I think a lot of our uh, people who are involved with SolidWorks in general feel very proud when we see what our customers can do using our, our tools. We have a huge uh, community. We meet every year uh, in February. We have uh, probably the largest uh, uh, convention of uh, innovative, of creative people. We tell amazing stories of innovation. We tell how people invented the Mars rover, how people invent uh, new ways of living in space, how we are influencing what's going on in life science, how people can create artificial limbs, can create artificial bones and replacement and prosthetics. And we show all these things and those things inspire because they inspire me and like me inspire millions of other people. We had a lot of customers come into the, the corporate office we were in, in uh, Concord back in the day and spend a week and just work with developers, work with our, uh, with our uh, development team to say, how do you want these things to work? How can we make our product better? The impression of the user community back then was people were really excited to be on that journey with us. Um, I, it was it was new software. Uh, I mean, it was exciting. People wanted us to improve, so uh, they were eager to uh, report issues so that we could fix those and, and just make the software better for for everyone. So there was a real sense that we're all in this thing together, and we really want you guys to be successful. One aspect which was very relevant and important, which helped in the network, was our focus on education from the very beginning. You know, we, we cared about the students. We, we knew that it was the right thing for us, and it was the right thing uh, for, you know, let's call it the budding engineers or, or whatever, and, and it still continues. And I think that has really helped because these students come out and, you know, they're working for companies, et cetera, and they already know SolidWorks, and they're passionate about it. The attachment that people feel um, to the SolidWorks community is, is, I think, part technology and part people, right? You, you have tools that we've used throughout our lives, whether it's in school, in industry, maybe that entire time, that have helped us advance our careers and have helped us make some really, really cool things that we're proud of personally and hopefully have had an impact on, on other people's lives as well. In order to create a great product, you need great users. Um, the users are really what drive the innovation, so if your users aren't speaking up and telling you what you did wrong, then it's never going to get fixed. And the SOLIDWORKS users community has gotten so big. You know, there's millions and millions of users out there, and it's, it's actually amazing to see how, uh, you know, collaborative that community is. I mean, you go to 3D Experience World and you have 5,000 people fired up to see us show a model on screen. It's amazing. We enjoy seeing their passion and it comes out in their products and we're, you know, it, it's nice to see internally here that everyone's so excited to see that fancy widget that was designed, you know, whether it's a, a mouse or a jet engine or whatever. It's, we have customers come in most quarterly meetings and, and, and show us what they've been designing and how they're using the product. It's kept us tied pretty tightly to the customers and to the products that they're delivering. Our users are very vocal. Um, our communities are, are active and vibrant, so you really do get to hear, you know, the real truth uh, behind what our users need and what our users are looking for. I've always been really proud of the community for it, both before I, you know, came aboard at SolidWorks and, and certainly afterwards. It's just how vocal uh, the community is. The community will be really, really, really vocal um, about, you know, some of the awesome enhancements that we happen to, you know, incorporate in our products. We had this idea to make the productivity better. Let's change the icons of the interface. Now, it might seem like a small thing, but oh my God, the, the community suddenly said, nope, we don't like this change. So we changed the colors back. <laughs> and that was that. We were always uh, looking for uh, user feedback to channel that into our product definition teams and development teams so that we could quickly bring those improvements into a, a future release of the software. We have a mandate that every single product definition person has to go at least for a certain number of customer visits every single year. It is done not in order to uh, get to know uh, just what is good at customer site, 
rather to understand the real need of our customers to know how they are using the product what they like what they don't like and the most important wants are what they want to get done in future what are the workflow limitations that they are facing and so forth when we design something we would just kind of do a litmus test within north america and just have very like localized conversations about how to approach a problem now we have teams from india teams from Asia, we have customers from all over the world who can give us great feedback. And it's just those perspectives of cultural differences. So all those things are coming into play nowadays for user experience and it's just, it's exciting, but it's daunting. A lot of what we do is take in you know, feedback from our users, um, understand what works, what doesn't work, what they like, what they don't like, how can we make their processes better, faster, quicker, all of that. And then we try to you know, formulate all of the use cases for that, um, that feedback and then also kind of feed that into the R&D team and try and uh, you know, really drive the next innovation for these products. I do enjoy the one-on-ones, the small type of conversations. So in the environments like user group um, meetings, in the environments where we are having like one-on-one -on -one usability tests, that has always been positive for me. When I request and ask for help, someone is always there to help. That's the type of culture that's in the user group. SolidWorks community is uh, the biggest influencer into what goes on in SolidWorks. The core DNA of SolidWorks is that it is driven by customer needs, it is extremely focused on customer needs and it tries to provide our users with the best possible user experience. In all honesty, it hasn't changed too, too much. It's, it's still very easy to use. It's, it's the capabilities and what it can do is light years beyond what it could do 25 years ago. But at the end of the day, it's still Windows based. It's still it's still meant to be customer driven, customer focused. It's still drag and drop, you know, copy and paste. So the power of the tool has grown tremendously. What you can do beyond just CAD design now with simulation and, and data management and documentation is, is crazy. You would never have thought of that in 1996 or the mid 90s. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still the same tool. SolidWorks has progressed so much with that, that as you start, it's not like le learning a new language anymore. You don't have to know quite as much of that foundational knowledge of CAD to actually get started. You can pretty much pick up SolidWorks and be productive from day one. We will still be listening to, to users 20 years from now. That's in our company DNA, as is innovation, and also, making the complex simple. So we, we have an expression here, SolidWorks Simple, where, where we take complex problems and potentially complex software solutions and make them simple and accessible to most users. So we need to make sure that we're not just creating the best tools, but we're making sure that it's as easy as possible for you know this next generation of engineers and designers to access and to use and that can come from you know whether we be flexible with what laptops or tablets or machines that they're using um, or many other sort of aspects but i really do think that you know this next generation expects it now and they know that if we can't provide it they can get it somewhere else so what makes me more excited is that today we have uh, the tools uh, to help our customers uh, be more innovative for the next 20 years.